Let's talk counting. In this video, I will show and explain how to count in a 4-4 time signature. In the first bar, I will be showing the value of notes, and in the second bar, I will be showing the value of rests. Let's start off with an easy one, the whole value. Now, whole value is worth four counts, and it will sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Next, we have two half values. Each half value is worth two counts. Make sure you line up your half values on one and three. It will sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Next, we have our quarter values, each worth one beat. Make sure they're lined up and it will sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes can be shown in many different ways, with flags such as these, or in groups connected by one bar. An eighth value is worth half of a count. We add in an and, or a plus sign, and it will sound something like this. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Next, adding in 16 sixteenth values, it will get kind of squishy in that bar. Much like eighth notes, sixteenth notes can either have two flags, imagine there's two flags, or in groups connected by two bars. Sixteenth values are a quarter of a count, and we add an E and an A. Ah. It will sound something like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now that you know the basics of counting musical values from whole values to sixteenth values, let's try combining different values within one bar and see how they line up. Here we have a half value followed by two quarter values. A half value is worth two counts and each quarter value is worth one. This is how it would look lined up and this is how it would sound. One, two, three, four. Next, we have a half value, two eighth values, and four sixteenth values. When playing a song, your counting will be more sufficient if you take the smallest value and count using its counting. In this example, the smallest value is sixteenth, so we will count one e and a, and so on. Make sure everything is lined up correctly with its count. This bar will sound like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's try and test our brains by combining notes and rests into one bar. Finding the smallest value, for this example, it will be the eighth value. So we will be counting with an and. Here is how this example will sound. One and, two and, three and, four and. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more daily musical theory lessons. And check out my weekly DIY video coming out every Wednesday. Be learning!